I'm Emily James, founder and director of Multipliers Leadership, here with a five minute leadership key. As a leader, the ability to manage our emotions is essential, but equally important is the ability to recognize and empathize with others, being able to manage our relationships. Two practical areas to help improve our relationships and the teams that we lead are social awareness and relationship management. In social awareness, you can understand the emotions, needs, and concerns of other people. You can pick up on their emotional cues and feel comfortable socially, recognize the power dynamics in a group or an organization or a team. Here's three ways to help. Number one, empathy. Empathy means trying to understand the viewpoint of others and see things from their perspective. Empathy differs from sympathy because sympathy means feeling sorry for others. But as you become more aware of your own reactions and feelings, you can become more aware of others, recognizing their reactions and responses or their needs as they express them and allow them to be open to you. You need to listen to them, paraphrase when they're talking to you, and acknowledge their need. Number two, serving others. Our social awareness can actually increase as we serve and put others first. It builds morale and gives us a greater appreciation for the people and teams that we lead. It gives us the ability to practically respond to their need. Number three, organizational awareness. This can be described as the ability to recognize both social and political dynamics that occur on teams. Being aware of power dynamics or organizational structures and people of influence. Number two, managing our relationships. You know how to develop and maintain good relationships or communicate clearly. You're able to inspire and influence others, work well in a team, and manage conflicts. Here are ways to help. Number one, communication. Listen to people. Be open and honest in communication. Learn to encourage the people in your team. Number two, inspire and influence others. Empower, encourage, and equip the people around you. It will build the relationship and the understanding you have of one another. Number three, teamwork. Foster an environment where people feel comfortable expressing their opinions, giving their input. Equally important to managing ourselves is the ability to manage and foster healthy relationships. These points can be used in every facet of life, from teams to business to family and friends. To achieve good emotional health, you need to become more aware of the people around you, how they feel and what they need. Serving others can be healing to one's own soul. Continue to manage the relations you have relationships that you have in your life by communicating well. Live your life as an inspiration to others, inspiring them to work well. Good self-management and relationship management are critical in achieving our good emotional health. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button because it really helps. And subscribe to our YouTube channel because every week we release a leadership key. 